Right, we're back in the garage with yet another tool here from Ryobi. So this is one from the 36 volt collection they've sent us recently. One of three actually. So we've had the, uh, the lawnmower that's behind us here. Um, we've also had the new edger, which, which is, is just behind there. the camera. And then the, the third tool is the, uh, is the blower. And I mean, this is a huge upgrade over the 18 volt that you've been using as of recent. So if we just go back a little bit, I have been using the 18 volt correct. It's 425 CFM. And so that's my experience. And so now to have some experience with this one, this one puts out 300, uh, 730. It's a huge upgrade. C CFM, and so I feel like I've got both ends of the uh, spectrum here. So yeah, I really, really like using this tool. So just to get it out of the way, huge thanks to Ryobi for sending us this product. They're not paying us for this video, but they have sent this to us here. But I mean, that aside, we've had our eyes on upgrading the blower that you've had for quite some time now just to get something with a bit more output because we have had experience with some other tools that have greater output than that one there um, and now we've got this one here in front of us 730 cfms almost double what you've had okay so this tool has already been unboxed before i had been using it because i wanted some hands-on experience but this is the 36 volt jet blower it is a kit so it comes with a 6 amp hour battery and just a normal standard charger so here comes our i suppose our tubing and our tip and all these bits, they just all clip together really, really nicely. Plain old charger. Gee whiz. Got the old, we need to put some CRC on the old Viper chair. These batteries are super heavy, eh? Six amp hour battery. I think they are uh, probably something that you want to have a look at some of the, uh, the, the lower voltage ones or lower amperage ones particularly when you're using a tool like this, but I mean, you get decent output on that six amp hour. And so the main part of the tool, it, it's pretty big, and I mean, check out that, that looks super cool at the back. So very minimal amount of um, putting together there, but that's pretty much the tool in essence. So for comparison's sake, this is the new blower and this is the old blower that I've been using and the tool is significantly larger. All right, so the rear of the tool is where we're gonna stow our battery and clip it in. So on the 18 volt, you notice that the batteries go in like that and they sort of, I guess they sort of insert themselves, whereas this is more on like a slidey rail. And I guess that's just the design of the 36 volt batteries. But this is, this is a six amp hour battery. So it'll get roughly about 21 minutes of run time on a full charge with very minimal or no load. And on the back of the battery here, we can see how charged we have. We've got four bars there, so we're fully charged, ready to roll. This does make the end of the tool quite heavy, so if you want to maybe have a little lighter feel of the tool and maybe you're a bit worried about how heavy it is, you could bring this down a smaller size battery, like a four amp hour or something like that, but your runtime will be reduced. Then we have our trigger style here for the operation of the tool, so it is trigger here, so you can, you can ramp it up. This is the button here for kind of like cruise control, so you don't have to have your hand underneath that to hold the tool. You can just let it run itself. And that's a really nice feature. So if you're doing a large area where you're constantly on the trigger, you can basically use that so you don't have to hold it all the time. And then on top is the turbo button. Now, this is a really good design. So on the old one, the turbo button, yes, it was on top, but it was quite hard to hold. This sort of just naturally fits really quite nicely in your hand here, so trigger, turbo button, all in one together. And then that's at a reasonable distance for you to turn on and off. So this tool puts out 730 CFM and it's pretty quiet. So it's part of the Whisper series and it's roughly about, well, it's not roughly, it is, it's 50, puts out 56 decibels. And I've definitely noticed it's a lot quieter than the, than the other model I've been using there. And then we come up to the tip here. So this rubber tip, is really handy so we like to use this to dry our vehicles and stuff like that so if i'm getting close to the paint or if i accidentally bump it there it does give me a little bit of security that this tip's not going to cause too much damage and that just clips on the tool at the end there doesn't it so yeah it's... it is a bit difficult but that's got a little tab you just slide it on and off but that means that it's going to stay put it's not going to be flying not going to be blowing off your yeah. tab on there and so underneath the tool here we've got a couple of feet for it so if you were to balance this on the shelf or on the garage floor it does sit Nice and flat, so that's super handy. The, you saw as we put this together, the tips come apart, so if you're worried about space, you can make this smaller so it can fit into a, a smaller space for you. 
So the downside of this tool is that when you've got your six amp hour battery in here and the footprint of the tool, it's definitely a larger tool to handle. So if you're worried about um, having this to be a bit more nimble, this is probably not the tool for you. It, is get, it does get quite heavy. And so when you are blowing off the driveway, this does have a natural tendency to want to point down, which is perfect. So blowing leaves off, grass clippings, etc., etc. that's fine. But we use this to also drive the car, so we're often up above our head or on the roof for an angle and things like that, that does become quite heavy. And so you probably want to have a smaller battery, but your runtime drops. Um, so just be a bit cautious about that. So if you're wanting a small tool, this is probably not it. This tool has to be bigger than other tools because it's pushing out 730 CFM. Okay, so this is on borderline absolutely pointless, but yesterday I mowed the lawn and today we've decided to film it and usually I'd have grass, grass clippings all along here and I would use this tool, although it's overkill because it's got quite a high CFM, I still use this tool to sort of blow off the paths and things like that. So another use case that we find that Omni Garage uses the blower the most is drying off the car. So we've washed the car, there's no ceramic coating on this car, there's no waxes, nothing like that. And we can see that the water's beaded here. So we use this a lot to dry off our vehicles. Now what I really like about this edition, it's got the rubber tip so you can come up nice and close to your panel and you're not going to cause any damage or scratches to that. So I, I really like that. But um, we'll just do this in um, standard mode and then we'll go into boost. <laughs> and now boost. Back to standard. And now boost. So the downside of this tool is the weight. So it does become quite heavy and rather awkward when you're up like this, drying the top of your car. Um, coming down here is more of a natural position, so it's quite fine drying the side panels. And the reason why this blower does such a good job of removing the water from here is just solely based on CFM. It's pushing out a lot of volume of air. And so the ability for it to move the water off the paint is a lot better than if you had something that had slightly less CFM. It's quite difficult to dry a car that's not ceramic coated or doesn't have a really fresh layer of something like bead maker within the last couple of weeks to actually get good results. Typically you'd need that ceramic coating on there but I think the CFM that this has fights through that and I mean look at the water you've got sitting on the surface here. If you just hit that turbo mode. reacts really similar to a car that has ceramic coating on it that you're using with a lower CFM blower. So that's a quick overview of the Ryobi 36 volt 730 CFM blower. So you did see it in a couple of use cases there we sort of showed you blowing off some grass on off the path there and you saw us use it in the car and so those two use cases is what Glenn and I typically use the leaf blower for so Yes, it's absolutely overkill for small yard work, blowing leaves down the driveway, getting rid of your clippings. But I also want to have that extra CFM when I come into blowing off the car. Yeah, I mean, I think the way that you use this tool is if you're blowing off things like driveways, you're probably very rarely putting it into turbo mode. The ability to go and lock on that trigger is quite nice in that setting and also the car wash setting. But yeah, you'd be going into turbo, lock it on when you're drying the car. And Big downside to this is the weight and the ergonomics of the tool when you're using it in that fashion. But I think the trade-off there is that if you're using the 18 volt tool or something with less output, you're having to use it for longer to get mm. the same result, right? That extra output on it. Well, sometimes not even a result. So with that, yep. you know, drying off the car, it doesn't get all the water drops off. So I'm going to have to towel dry anyway. Yeah, sometimes it turns those so big drops into part of a job done. I know I can get it all done here. Yep. The other thing that I think is a really positive thing that this tool has is this rubber tip. And I really like how it locks on as well. You're not going to lose that, it's not going to fall off. But it means if you're using it to do something like dry the paint on a vehicle, you're not at risk of damaging it. I think that's a key piece for the car use. So now it comes down to kind of which tool you're going to buy. So if you've already got 18 volt batteries, you've already got the tools, 
and you're going to do a little bit of yard work and you're wanting sort of slightly lower CFM and you're not using to dry your car, you're probably absolutely fine to go and get your 18 volt that leaf blower. Yeah, there. same. If you want a light tool, that's probably the way to go. But I think you're absolutely right. If you're already in that 18 volt ecosystem and you're not using it to dry a car, I think if you're using it for yard work, I'd stick with that 18 volt tool. Where we probably recommend that you step up to the 36 volt, if you're already in the 36 volt range. 100% buy this tool. Keep it the same. Yep. I think you want all your garden tools to be in the 36 volt range. I think you do get extra power and extra benefits being there, but you are going to pay more for the tool. And this is only really if you want to have the higher CFM output. And so our recommendation is that we're buying this tool every day over the other model. And right. that's just because we're going to use this for dual purposes. There is times where we want slightly less CFM. There's times where we want more. And so this tool delivers both of those worlds for us. Yeah, I think the, the one consideration that I would say, if you're in the 18 volt range, you don't have any 36 volt, but you want to use it to dry a car, I think I'd look at adding a 36 volt, even just the one tool with this here with one battery. Yeah, well, you can buy this in a kit. So buy this as the kit. Buy the kit. You get set up yep. and you're ready to roll. And to drive vehicles with us, I mean, this is night and day different. That will that frustrate volt. you, I think. Yeah. Especially if your car's not corrected and protected like we do here at Omni Garage. If you just got, you know, a, a plain old car with no wax or anything like that, that you're going to get frustrated. And yeah, you're going to be annoyed with it. You're going to need that. Like so that's, that would be our recommendation. Yeah. So basically this here for us, we're punting that 18 volt tool. We don't need that anymore. This is going to solve, solve that dual purpose. And even though it's a bit heavier for things like using it on the car, it's a much better experience. You get around it much quicker. Um, and I'm, 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 ha I'm happy to have that trade off. So again, big thank you to Ryobi for sending this 36 volt blower our range. They also sent us the mower and the edger, which you can find those videos on the channel. And hopefully we've got many more 36 volt tools to come. So thanks for watching. That's it from Omni Garage. Stay tuned for the next video and we'll catch you on the next one.